हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वॉट आर दी इक्वेशन रिड्यूसिबल टू लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एज वेल एज वी विल सी हाउ टू सॉल्व दैम सो लेट एस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर दी इक्वेशन रिड्यूसिबल टू लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन गाइज वी से दैट अ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इज रिड्यूसिबल टू लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इफ इट कैन बी transform to linear differential equation by means of some rearrangement or substitution in it now look at the type 1 examples from this category we say that a differential equation dx by dy plus p dash x is equal to q dash is also a linear differential equation because here roles of x and y are interchanged the previous form of the linear differential equation that you saw was dy by dx plus py is equal to q over there y was dependent variable and here x is the dependent variable so roles of x and y are interchanged when you compare these two types of linear differential equation so this is also a linear differential equation where p dash and q dash are functions of y or constants for example dx by dy plus 2y square x is equal to y square this differential equation comes under this type 1 category see that x is the dependent variable and its derivative dx by dy also appears in degree 1 therefore this is linear differential equation in x here p dash is 2y square and q dash is y square now let us talk about how to find solution to this type of linear differential equation as we know linear differential equations can be solved after converting it into exact differential equation for that we need to find an integrating factor in case of this type of linear differential equations integrating factor is given by e raised to integration of p dash dy where this p dash is coming from this second term and when we substitute this integrating factor in the general formula of the solution we get solution to this lde that formula is given by x into integrating factor is equal to integration of integrating factor into q dash dy plus c where it's c is some integration constant now let me show you some real examples of the similar here the given differential equation is 1 plus y square dx is equal to e raised to tan inverse y minus x and dy first of all we will rearrange the terms of this differential equation we will take this dy on the left hand side and 1 plus y square on the right hand side so we get dx by dy is equal to e raised to tan inverse y upon 1 plus y square minus x upon 1 plus y square since here x is the dependent variable on rhs side we want only function of y so among these two terms this first term is the term in which there is only y no x is there so we take this term on the left hand side to get dx by dy plus x upon 1 plus y square is equal to e raised to tan inverse y upon 1 plus y square now this differential equation looks exactly similar to dx by dy plus p dash x is equal to q dash where p dash is 1 upon 1 plus y square and q dash is e raised to tan inverse y upon 1 plus y square now we find the corresponding integrating factor the corresponding integrating factor is given by e raised to integration of p dash dy here p dash is 1 upon 1 plus y square so after substituting for p dash we get e raised to integration of 1 upon 1 plus y square dy which is nothing but tan inverse y so we get e raised to tan inverse y as an integrating factor now we find the corresponding solution the corresponding solution is given by x into integrating factor is equal to integration of integrating factor into q dash dy plus c now let's substitute value of integrating factor in this so we get x into e raised to tan inverse y is equal to 
integration of e raised to tan inverse y into q dash where q dash is e raised to tan inverse y upon 1 plus y square dy plus c. Now to solve this integral we are going to use substitution t is equal to e raised to tan inverse y. Now let's differentiate both the sides. Differentiating both the sides we get e raised to tan inverse y into 1 upon 1 plus y square dy is equal to dt. See that this term e raised to tan inverse y upon 1 plus y square dy is equal to dt. So after substitution this right hand side integral becomes integration of t dt plus c. Integration of t is t square by 2. Now finally substituting for t we get solution to the given differential equation as x into e raised to tan inverse y is equal to e raised to 2 times tan inverse y by 2 plus c. I hope you understood every step of this solution. Now look at the second example. Here the differential equation is x plus 2y cube dy is equal to y dx. Now let's do some rearrangement. Taking this dy on the other side and y on the left hand side we get differential equation as dx by dy is equal to x by y plus 2y cube upon y that is 2y square. Now as we want to keep only term with y on the right hand side we will take this term x by y on the left hand side. So we get differential equation as dx by dy minus x by y is equal to 2y square. This differential equation now looks like dx by dy plus p dash x is equal to q dash where p dash is minus 1 by y and q dash is 2y square. Now we find the corresponding integrating factor with the formula e raised to integration p dash dy. Substituting for p dash here we get e raised to integration of minus 1 by y dy which is same as e raised to minus log y. Now using log property this can be written as e raised to log y inverse and since this log is with base e, e raised to log y inverse is just y inverse that is 1 by y. So 1 by y is our integrating factor. Now we substitute this integrating factor into the solution formula which is x into integrating factor is equal to integration of integrating factor into q dash dy plus c. Substituting if and q dash we get x into 1 by y is equal to integration of 1 by y into 2y square dy plus c. Now this y and square will get cancelled and we get RHS as integration of 2y dy plus c. Integration of 2y is just y square. So solution to the given differential equation is x into 1 by y is equal to y square plus c. I hope you understood every step of this solution. Now as usual I have given you two examples for DIY. You have to solve them and write in comment box whether you are able to solve it or not. I am giving you some key points of the solution like integrating factor and the final solution so that you can tally your answer. This is example number 3. Similarly solve this example number 4. The corresponding integrating factor here is y plus 1 and the solution is this. I hope you like this video. Thank you all of you. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.